This is WHP CBS 21 News at 6, home of live Doppler 21. All right, Steve, thanks. Well, want to help someone out but can't figure out where to start? Later in Smart Woman, a personality profile helps you figure out where you'll do the most good. Volunteering is one of those things that we often put on our to-do list, and we hope we get it done later, of course. But, of course, figuring out where to volunteer can be the very thing that keeps you from getting started. So on tonight's Smart Woman, Marty Salt shows us how to find the organization that can benefit from your strengths and talents. Jennifer Ortega lives and works in New York City. It's big and loud. And she loves it. But finding a piece of green in the concrete jungle is rare. That's why, for a few hours a month, she volunteers for New Yorkers for parks. This year, she helped organize the Daffodil Project. I'm good at um, getting people to do things that they normally wouldn't do. Throughout the city, 100,000 bulbs were planted. But how can you find out where your talents are needed? Woman's Day editor Robin Marino says volunteermatch.com is a good place to start. All you have to do is type in your zip code. Choose an okay. area of interest and a skill, and Volunteer Match finds a list of organizations that could use your help. You can go plant a tree on Saturday, and if you love to garden, this would be perfect for you. Other ways you can use the web. If you're crafty, you can go to projectlinus.org and make a blanket for a sick child. If you're a sports fan, you can try specialolympics.org. Animal lovers can walk a dog for the ASPCA or go to deltasociety.org and make nursing home visits with a cuddly cohort. And dreamers can help terminally ill children through the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And if trying something new is what you want, Habitat for Humanity has a Women Build program that puts together all woman crews. Where you can learn how to build a frame or like even install a ceiling fan. And you know, that, so those are skills you could actually use at home. A good thing to keep in mind next time you put do good on your to-do list. This is Marty Salt reporting. Here's a volunteer suggestion for homebodies. Volunteer Match has a section for virtual volunteering. You can volunteer by writing letters to sick children or build websites for a cause you believe in. All this can be done without leaving your home. Pretty cool idea. Absolutely. Love volunteering. It does make you feel good, doesn't it? Well, still ahead, a bizarre crash in Texas.